Welcome back, traders and investors, to Benzinga's Pre-Market Prep, brought to you by Benzinga Pro. I'm your co-host, Joel L. Conan, along with Dennis Dick. And we have John Gavin of the Probes Reporter on. Man, it's busy working on the Valiant Pharmaceutical story. John, how are you doing this morning? Hey, good morning. I am doing very well. Thanks for asking, and thanks for having me on the show. And uh, John, for uh, some of our older listeners, uh, John uh, has been not new to this kind of investigations. He was involved in uh, help uncovering the Enron scandal and also Tyco. But let's talk about Valiant Pharmaceuticals, a stock that's been under pressure for a long time here. How long have you been you know, following this saga on this issue and uh, how do you conduct your research? Uh, let, let, let's, uh, let's first get... Um, how long have we covered these guys? They're just one of 2,500 companies that we cover. So we use the Freedom of Information Act as our primary research tool over at the SEC. We're the ones who figured out how to use that as a research tool uh, 16 years ago. As That's where the Enron and Tyco comes in. And so Valiant, we just did a normal routine uh, request for documents on them. And in September, we got told there were no records. In October, the Citron report came out. And, of course, that changed the world for... Um, Valiant. And there were some other negative reports at the time. We filed a new Freedom of Information Act request in December. And on February 4th, we got our first indication of a possible undisclosed investigation. We filed an administrative appeal, which is part of our routine. And over the weekend, just this past weekend, we got a response, response to that appeal confirming ongoing enforcement proceedings at Valiant. John, how, how, go ahead, Dennis. Go ahead. I was going to say, so, so what exactly is the SEC looking into here? Well, our request look into uh, records related to a company's conduct, transactions, or disclosures. And so with them blocking our access to records under a legitimate reason, law enforcement proceedings, they are confirming that there were something in, they're investigating something pertaining to Valiant's conduct, transactions, and or disclosures. And like when you put in these inquiries, I mean, do you get like an immediate response, two days, three days? How long when you put these inquiries does it take the government to respond? Sometimes we get an answer pretty quickly, and that usually happens when there's nothing there. And and by the way, let me do a quick side note. Some people who don't know us well and have been to our website thinks that the only thing we say we, you know, everyone's under investigation. That's not true. The vast majority of the companies we report on have nothing going on. So Valiant ends up in the category of something going on. And so with a Valiant, the time turnaround can, it can last months. This one actually went relatively quickly. Our request went in in December, first response in February, and appeal response dated February 22nd and received by us on Saturday. Do you know how many supposedly um, allegations are being investigated? Uh, regarding this or anyone, For, generally, generally no. No. Okay. So you don't know how many. And I, just going back, I mean, were you tipped off by, you know, what happened, you know, with, uh, with Citron? Was this something you were sniffing around in before or what, what originally got you interested in it? So, um, again, they were, we just did a normal request on them. And on as of September 30th, the re re response came back and said nothing was found. The Citron report came out in October, um, as did some other reports. And we, reports like Citron are actually on our on our on our own list. We we watch this. The SEC reads the same things that you do. So if they see that a huge stock has an accounting controversy, they're going to look into it. They know who Citron is. They know who we are. They know who the hedge fund players are. They know their agendas but they also know the quality of their work. And so when you have a mega cap company in, in massive accounting controversy, they will look into it. And we watch for those red flags as well. And that's why we knew to do a new request on Valiant in December. Hey, John, a question for you. How long do you expect uh, the street to care about uh, news like this? Less than they should. <laughs> <laughs> Less than they should. Yeah, the, the street can't help themselves with their little pom-poms and such. And Valiant, in my opinion, was trying to manipulate that yesterday by trying to have that supposedly sell-side conference call. Uh, I think that's terrible form on their part. Uh, but, they, it, you know, I mean, we're an independent research <clears> – <throat> pardon me. We're an independent research firm. We cover them too, and nobody invited us to the party. Um, the, here's why I think they should care longer than they will. Let's just look at that restatement that occurred, what, about a week ago? And people yeah. cheered, huzzah, all's well, the sky's clear. 
this is a massive company and you had massive accusations of accounting fraud. Big companies don't move that fast. To have had a, a problem-solving restatement occur in just a few months just doesn't happen. You need the auditor. You need the audit committee. committee you need the depth and complexity of investigation to complete itself. So that itself tells you this isn't going away. There's other problems that are telling you it's not going away. For example, let's look at an investigation no one's talking about, the Salix investigation. The Salix investigation is a formal investigation the company continues to disclose even though they acquired the company. That should tell you that management views it as material to the entire company. It is a risk to the entire company. Now you have the Citron new stuff. And here's something else that the company is staying silent on. Back in October, when this story broke, there was references to Quebec's securities regulator having not yet started a formal investigation, but watching the situation very seriously. I am certain that the Quebec authorities have begun their own investigation by now as well, and the SEC and the Canadian authorities cooperate. Why do you think that they just remain silent here? Like, why, why is that? Bunch of dumb bunnies. Um, <laughs> Putting it simply. <laughs> well, that, that was actually a public relations term. You guys might not have understood it. Uh, I don't know. I think it's really bad what they're doing. They're, and, but it's not without precedent. For example, when the subpoenas came out last fall, they put that out in a press release at first. They didn't give it prominence by putting it into an official filing. Last night, the company made two filings. They filed an 8K announcing the return of the uh, former the CEO chairman. And they also filed a filing indicating their 10K would be delayed. But during the day, they, they put out that little press release news announcement that, oh, yeah, by the way, the SEC is investigating. There's no prominence given to that. So they're doing what we call disclosure games. Disclosure games are things like delaying, delaying a disclosure, teasing it out, not giving you details, no prominence, things like that. So I, this has all the feeling of a management that's hunkered down their their attitude is there ain't nothing wrong here until you can prove it and they're not going to help you with it so i i think that this will the sell side god bless them will look for reasons to get positive although i'm sure a lot of them are very frustrated right now um this could get worse before it gets better at least based on what we've seen with others in the past i mean you think there's something you know along the lines of you know criminal charges too like you had in the enron and uh also i mean you know, this is a big company here, and I know it's that you know the stock price has uh, come down, you know, quite a bit. You know, I'm, I'm, what was it, a couple hundred dollars stock? I mean, are, yeah. are, are, I mean, are we talking, you know, the same kind of fate as Enron here? Maybe. I I don't think it goes beyond the realm. Uh, I think it's very reasonable to ask that. It, it, you know, sometimes we can get dramatic and say these guys deserve to be locked up, but the company is already under criminal investigation. When federal prosecutors and U.S. attorneys are investigating you, those are criminal probes. So this company is facing both civil investigations from the SEC, certainly, and uh, criminal exposure on an array of matters. And so we don't know what they are at detail, but yes, criminal uh, charges could result from this. That's not unreasonable to uh, ask about. From your report, you were saying that these uh, SEC investigation probably started last fall. Is yeah. that like that? That seems shocking to me when you say that. Um, now we're looking here three, four months later, and we're just hearing about this SEC investigation here now. It, sh shouldn't the SEC disclose stuff like this? That's a really good question, and it actually gets to one of the most common misperceptions that we encounter, and that is investors have the assumption that companies are required to disclose all SEC investigations, which is not true. Companies are only required to disclose matters deemed material to investors, but management gets to be the judge of what we as investors might consider material. And that's where I, I made a joke about it. I called these guys dumb bunnies, but they really are because – they almost certainly knew the SEC was investigating last fall. We, we have other companies in our, in our database where the SEC started an investigation quite quickly. I'll use a quick example. Hertz in 2004, June, two, June 2014, announced a massive restatement. We wrote a report like we did in October on Valiant, and we said, holy cow, this is catnip for SEC enforcement officials. They're going to get investigated. And it took until November of 2014 for Hertz to finally disclose it, and they said it started in November. So we think almost certainly the SEC started an investigation last October, November. The problem, and this is where investors need to worry, is this management judged that it wasn't material, even though it's formal and involves subpoenas, 
they judged that it wasn't material until they were essentially forced to disclose it yesterday. They were planning to just bury it in the 10K. The other reason they are their own worst enemy is last fall when they disclosed a ton of other investigations, they should have thrown this one in. People wouldn't have cared very much. Everybody was investigating them. It was kind of the uh, kitchen sink phenomenon. Just throw it all in. Now, by having it waiting, 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 playing the restatement game and having us put the pressure that ultimately caused them to disclose this, their credibility is badly damaged. Uh, John, before we let you go here, I want to ask you about a couple other uh, issues. See if you have you looked into them. Depot Med or Horizon Pharma? Have you uh, made any inquiries regarding those, and are they comparable at all to Valiant? Um, I probably have researched it. We, you know, we again we research 2,500 companies a year. To know off the top of my head, I'd have to look into the database, and that would take a couple minutes, and you don't want to use up airtime like that. But I'll gladly follow up with you guys if you want. Awesome. But, but but for official purposes, I, I can't answer. I don't know. I have to look. And is your job done now, John? Uh, what are you going to be doing moving forward? Do you s keep sending those inquiries to the SEC and see if what you follow up and do reports? Or you <laughs> that, that, that's a, uh, our work here is done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, with, 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 uh, okay. My business, of course, is doing this type of research, so that job doesn't end. With Valiant itself... We'll continue to monitor the situation. This investigation will go on for a long time. So what we will then respond to is what disclosures they give, what answers they give on conference calls. And since we are wrapping up, I'll offer a final thought to any investors as they think about companies under investigation. A common dodge on a conference call is when management gets asked about an investigation and they do the old, well, you know, it's confidential. It's an investigation. We can't disclose it or we can't talk about it. Yes, they can. They can talk about whatever they want. They're choosing not to. And so an investigation disclosed is a material event. If management discloses a material event and doesn't give you the information you need to analyze it, you now have a risk you can't analyze. And you have to ask yourself, do you want that in your portfolio? Yeah, well, simple question from John Gavin of the Pros Reporter. He's the gentleman that broke that story on Valiant yesterday. Great information, and uh, hope to get you on live next time when you break your next story. Guys, it was a pleasure, and have an awesome day. Let's see what happens, all right? All right.